Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. Today, we're here to start the sweet and shabby Christmas project for Handmade Club, October 2021 for Shabby Art Boutique. So here we are. We're going to be working on a fun project and I want to welcome you all for coming along. Thank you for watching. Welcome to all my new subscribers. Hello, hello. And to all of my longtime followers. Our numbers are growing and I'm happy that each and every one of you is here. Thank you for commenting and for watching and for liking my videos. I want to say that right off the bat because you're all very important to me. All right, let's get busy. We have lots to do today. As promised, I have a new project for you. It is the new Christmas kit. This is a shabby pink teal, um, let's see, I wanna say it's kind of a cherry red, a little mint. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous kit that I think you're all gonna enjoy working with if you're into the shabby genre. If you're not, I hope you'll just watch it and get some ideas that you can use with your regular papers, okay? So I do this for everybody, not just for my shabby followers. Um, so if you are working with scrapbook papers or digital papers, you can make the exact same things that I'm making here with this kit, if this isn't for you, um, you know, that you could do as well. If this is for you, I highly recommend you get this. It comes out on October 15th, which you should see this video on the 15th, and it runs to the following month on the 13th. So You've got time to go get it and get busy and make some things with me. So I have my project is out here. I've got it all set up so you had something pretty to look up and I could take my pictures, but we're not going to um, need all these goodies to work with because they're really just, you know, eye candy. So I'm gonna move these off so we can get busy. This is a darling kit with Santa and his elves and the elves are adorable, as you can see. These two are just adorable, so beautiful. I just love them, and I can't wait to work with them. I may end up using these. Um, actually, I don't want to get rid of those because I'm probably going to end up using my um, snowflakes on here, and then I'll just have to find some different ones to, you know, use on my um, <laughs> on my table. So I think there was just the four of those. I thought I just dropped one on the floor. Did I? Um, yeah. Oh gosh. Okay. So. We're starting off good here. These are the predominant colors of the kits that I've kind of stacked around it, at least is what I have in, in some um, 12 by 12 papers. I will be using some of those in my projects. So I'm also, well, the main colors I'm going to be using for a couple of uh, pieces of ephemera will be sort of this minty color and then this little bit lighter pink, I think, and then some of these others. So I'm going to be using some scrapbook papers along with the kit. And this is one of three projects. This is my, um, move this aside. This is the project that I will be doing, you know, for those of you who are into scrapbooking. I mean, not scrapbooking. Good Lord. Sorry, guys. Not a good way to start my day. Uh, <laughs> are into journal making. This is a um, ephemera folder uh, and um, journal holder, folder and holder. <laughs> It is very good size, and I'm going to show you what our size is. This is 10 by mm, 9 and 3 quarters. So it's a, she's a big girl, and she is going to look like this. So we have front, back. We have pocket, 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 pocket. When you open it up, you have a big pocket, and then I think we're going to have also some smaller pockets to go with those. So it's definitely going to be a Christmas hol folder holder. <clears throat> folder, holder, holder, folder. <laughs> it's going to be something Christmassy. Anyway, now this is made from a large mailing envelope. And because it is, I was able to create the pockets on the front. But that means that should I choose to cut this open either the top or the side, we would have more pockets. Now, I haven't closed the, opened, the, um, opened this yet because it depends if I am able to get to making some kind of a journal. I could stick the journal down inside of one or two journals in either side or a lot of ephemera. So um, cards, journaling cards, and then you'll have all these pockets too for storage. So isn't this just the funnest thing? I love it. I think you're going to enjoy working on it. Um, I'm going to, as you know, I don't do tutorials. This is going to be a process. I have already 
glued on the papers, put it together, put out of the spine and covered it. And I did it off camera because it's very tedious and time consuming. And it took me a long time to cut and figure out. So I've got it this far, but what you gotta realize is we have all the ephemera that we're going to make that's going to go inside and decorate the rest of the pockets, maybe some up here. There's gonna be lace and all the goodies and the dimensions. So that's all coming. So as you know, that's my thing I like to do. And so we're gonna be decorating mainly. But I am gonna show you how or the basics of this so that you can make your base and then you can decorate with me. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside for a minute and I'm gonna pull up some envelopes. Now, this folder was made from a giant, these, I had, this is all I had until I got my order from Amazon. I only had 10 by 13 folders. So when I started this, my nine by 12s had not come in yet. So if you have nine by 12 will work fine, or 10 by 13. Now, if you're working in shabby, you're gonna want white envelopes and you can get these on Amazon. They'll get them to you in like a day if you're a Prime member. And they have a basic brand that I showed in my last videos that will, you know, it's not super expensive and it's great for folding and using. I believe you can also get the 10 by 13 or even bigger. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different sizes on there. I'm gonna go back and order myself some 10 by 13s because I love this size. It is so fun. It reminds me of what we used to put our um, record albums in, <laughs> for those of you who are old enough to know what that is, um, our vinyl records. And that's what this reminds me of, I, you know, so I almost wanted to call it a record holder, but <laughs> it's not. So let me show you what I did to make this. Um, initially, I am flipping things all over the floor, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've been sick for the last three or four days. I didn't think I was going to get any more videos made for a while, but I rallied. I'm feeling a bit better, so I'm going to give it my best shot. We'll see how far I get today, okay? So what I did with that one was I took my flap and I folded it backwards so that you saw, and these have a peel and stick. Try not to get the ones with the, um, the little, um, I don't know what they're called. They have a little like a clasp and we don't want that. So you wanna, you're gonna fold it back like that and then you're going to fold it up. And that's gonna be the first page. You're gonna do a second one for the back and that would be the second page. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, since this is the only one of these I have and I don't want to use this one, I'm gonna set it aside. I'll use the nine by 12. And so what I did was, this was the nine by 12. Okay, here we go. And I took and I folded it up about three inches. And then I folded this back. Now you could, if you don't mind the smiley face and you wanna cut paper to match, you could do it that way. But what I did was I took and I cut this off, which I'll show you in just a minute, so that this came off and I, I made it level. And then I cut my piece of paper accordingly to cover this. And then of course, you know, I just took a regular piece of paper and covered this part and then you add your pockets or whatever you're gonna do. So I did two of these. So I will do another one. And I'm gonna fold it back first because you want to keep the white part here. This is the back side, the inside. So you wanna keep this little flap as your back of each piece. So we got it folded and then we're gonna fold it up about three inches. So I can either if I didn't have a ruler and I had guessed, I could just do it by, by putting this one next to it or I can use my ruler and find my three inches. I hope my head's not in the way. Uh, it's a little high. This, it's very hard to see the inch marks on this one. Now you do want these to be fairly even, so I highly recommend that you either fold them together or as close to as possible. Looks like I got this one a little bit deeper. Okay. And you're gonna need a bone folder, scissors, something to, to burnish this down. I chose about three inches. Now, um, I think on this one, I might've done it a little bit deeper because this is a bigger envelope. I did it Oh, it was about three and a quarter inches on this one. Okay, so these two pockets are. This one is much wider inside. That's This is just scrap paper here that I had left over when I was cutting. It's about a four inch deep pocket. So 
We're not doing any folding on the inside, just the outside. So this gives you, by doing this right now, this gives you your front and your back. So we have our pockets on the outside, all right? And then the inside is just whatever scrap paper you want to use. Now, I printed this on the presentation paper, which is 44 pound. So it's basically a light cardstock. So any light cardstock would work for printing your papers. Um, all my papers here are on the presentation paper, which can be light cardstock. I wanted to give it body. Otherwise, I felt it was going to be very flimsy. This is very substantial. It's got an album, photo album kind of feel. It's got some good heft to it. So as you can see, we have our front and back. I am going to grab my, I don't know if my little paper cutter will work or if I'm going to have to get out Big Bertha. Let's see. I know it didn't work on the big one, but this is a smaller envelope. So fingers crossed, we fit. Oh, just barely, you guys. Wow, I got lucky on that. So you want to put it right on your edge. Now, I don't want to cut all that off. So what I do want to cut off, and I want to line it up. Um, you see your fold line? I want to put it on one of these up here so that I am at two and a half up here, okay? And I'm going to cut off this bit right here. So you're going to lose a little bit. So this is two and a half. Now, if you don't want all this space up here, you, of course, can make, fold it up, cut more off. You can make this as tall or as short as you want, okay? Now, what I will say is once you cut that, you're going to notice you have this little flap. You do not want that. You want to seal this up and push it down because we are going to have to cut this, um, cut out a little notch at some point. So you want to make sure that that's glued down so you have a good surface to work with. Now we're going to put this on the other one, the second envelope, on two and a half. Okay. Oop, got the wrong one. There we go. So we're going to take our, our envelope line. You know what? I did not burnish this well. Give me a minute. I'm going to close that so I don't cut off a finger. I'm going to burnish this down a bit better. So I got a nice tight line. And, oh guys, I forgot to look at my start time. Go ahead, Gail and I are both having that problem. I'm only 12 minutes in, so oh, we'll try to finish about, I don't know, maybe around noon. I want, this is not going to be a very long video. Um, so, well, let's see. Uh, 12 minutes would put us at, well, that's 11, 40. Oh, no, we would go to about. 12:20, I think. Well, I'll check the time around then. Um, I will be hungry by then and ready for lunch. So it may end sooner if I'm hungry sooner. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, let's get down to work here. I'm going to put this at two and a half. Sorry about my head. I've got the camera zeroed in more, which means you're going to see more of me than you usually do. And I generally don't throw away these pieces because they can be used. I don't I don't need, excuse my reach. I don't need this part, so we'll cut that off. This is a great shape um, for, and this is a great piece for using on the sides, side tucks for your journal. So definitely don't throw those away. Hang on to those, put them in a little scrap bag. All right, so there we are. Now we have, we have to do our, put that on the floor. We need to glue. I hope you're all well and happy and safe and doing good. Everybody's well in your family. And you're crafting or doing something fun or maybe sitting and relaxing, drinking your coffee in the morning. I know I have a bunch of you, good morning ladies, who will watch this while they're having their coffee at 5 a.m. <laughs> Someone commented, oh my gosh, you're up early. And I said, no, I pre-schedule my videos. I make them on one day, schedule them, and then have them scheduled for 5 a.m. in the morning because I know I have my coffee drinkers who like to follow along with me in the morning, watch it, you know, or maybe they're at work. Now I notice I'm off. Shoot. Okay, what do I want to do to fix that? 
because they have to be the same when it comes down to doing the spine. So I'm going to move this up a little bit. Okay, now it doesn't matter if this pocket is taller. If it bothers me at the time when we get ready, let me find my, oh, there it is, bone folder. When we get ready, if I should have checked it before I cut the other one, I can just cut off the little bit of extra and um, they'll be exactly the same. But because they're front to back like this and they have a spine, you're not going to notice if one pocket's a little higher than the other. So I wouldn't stress over it. As long as the overall height is the same, that's going to be the problem here. So I had no problem on the other one, probably because I'm doing this on camera. I'm having issues. So anyway, just try to get them even. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm not making one right now. I've already got mine ready to go, so I'm not going to worry about it. But boy, if I when I do come to put this together. Now, the thing I will tell you is I inked this whole thing. If you're going to ink, ink now. This is the point where you want to ink every bit of this, including on the inside of this pocket here this first pocket because you're a double pocket go ahead and ink the inside front and back of every piece all the little nooks and crannies this is when you're going to ink if you're going to ink then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut your papers for each pocket and you're going to cut your papers for um the bases now i will tell you that uh, these are done in vertical portrait they don't fit so you have an option you can do what i did which is take a base piece which are these are in the kit all these pieces you see are in the kit take that piece and i turned it sideways and i cut it okay and then i created the pocket on the top out of the printed out of this print and i and i cut out what i wanted it to be okay so however you want to do it you can turn a page and do it that way um, to cover it. So you want to get all these pieces cut. And then I turned it into a pocket and I inked every single thing before I glued it on. So I inked the folder, then I inked the pages that are going to go on here. So you want to do all your cutting, cut all your pieces. Then you want to glue in all your bases and all your fronts. Do not glue this pocket closed till just before you're ready to add your spine. Okay. Leave it open because once your piece of paper is glued on here, you're going to want to cut your notch out as soon as it's dry so that you end up with this. You have a pocket here and a pocket here. You have double pockets. Okay. So um, just so you know, that's what you want to do. So again, you're going to want to ink everything, cut everything, ink everything. And then for the inside, I just did the plain pages. And then what happened is when I cut off when I laid these on their side and I cut them off, I had nice big pieces for pockets. And you can make these as deep or as narrow as you want. You could do multiples. You could do them this way. You put your pockets in however you want. This is what I decided to do because I'm going to be adding some pockets to my pockets. Initially, I was going to put them up here. But now I've decided that I'm going to put them down here and probably pretty evenly on here so that I have pockets to use for little things and bigger things. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna put on here. These are in the kit, so you'll have these to cut out. And I haven't shown you the full kit because <laughs> your little buddy blew it. She started cutting it all up and using it, and I don't have a full kit right now to show you. So I promise that in my next video, there will be a complete, um, which will be on Monday, will be a complete showing of, or uh, I may do that video real quick before this one releases so that you can see what the kid looks like because uh, your buddy messed up. She got so excited. She went to work and forgot to get a video of the kit before she cut it all up. <laughs> I only have a few like random pieces left, so I kind of got an issue here. So anyway, we're back to construction. So once you've glued all your goodies on and you've got your holes punched and you know where things are going to go, then you would glue these down, okay, to create your closed pockets. Then comes your spine, okay? So you're going to want to know right off the bat which side is going to be your outside and which side is going to be your spine side. And when you do your spine, you're going to want a little 
Um, I think I lined them up on my board and I gave them about a, I don't know, let's see, quarter inch. Let's see, what did I do? Yep, quarter inch. I gave them a quarter inch gap and I used some masking tape on it. So, um, to, I put masking tape down the middle, wrapped it around, put it there. Then I covered it with my ribbon. You don't have to use masking tape. You can use Tyvek. You can use whatever you have. Floor tape. I mean, I don't know. Whatever you guys use. Um, you can use on your, as your spine. Uh, you can just use ribbon. You can use paper. You can have a paper spine inside and out. But I wanted a little quarter inch to give it some room so that when I fill it up, it's not so tight. And so the pages are not buttoned up against each other. And I just... To put this ribbon on, I just put a single layer of ribbon here and I used my Fabri-Tac and on this side and this side, I used a nice thick red ribbon and a pretty white ribbon. I used this and I used this for my spine. So, and then I just used, as you can see, this full red ribbon. I have another ribbon that's thinner than this that I used on the inside and I picked up the red in that. I really wanted to add some red, so. Okay, you have an idea of how to make this. I hope that wasn't confusing. Let me know if it was, I'll try again. Um, but like I said, I don't do tutorials for that reason. But I will tell you that once I folded this up, this should be nine inches and it is. So it will fit a standard size journal, either in this pocket, the inside pocket or if you choose to cut the top open or the side open it will fit in any of your um your pockets now i did not stitch this on purpose because i wasn't sure about cutting things open and where things were going to be um, and i really don't feel like you have to if you want to of course please do so a lot of you who love your sewing machine are going to want to stitch it and that's just fine just be aware when you do you're giving yourself less space and know where you're going to cut it open before you stitch. Because once you go all the way around, there is no opening that. Unless you're going to cut off your stitching. And of course, you could still do that. And know where your pockets are going to be. And um, you definitely don't want to stitch. If you're going to stitch this, just stitch the papers before you put them on. If you don't want to stitch all the way through the envelope, just stitch the papers, then glue them on. And it'll look like you stitched all the way through. So that you don't lose any open space. So there's a number of ways to do that. So... That's what this is made from. You saw how big I used. Ooh, it was a good size one, wasn't it? Um, I'm going to pull out some pages here. Oh, there they are. I can show you a couple pages. Um, in case you haven't seen the flip through, I'll have to do that before. I'll make sure we release it before this one. Maybe I'll do it when I get done here. I'll print a kit and then uh, do it this afternoon. And then you'll have it for tomorrow. So these are some of the, these are the printed pages that you will have to work with. Aren't these gorgeous? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you have, um, let me see what I have that I haven't used yet. <laughs> I had a lot. Oh my goodness. Let me show you some things. I'll show you a few things before we get going. And then, oh my gosh, I don't know. I have stuff everywhere. My desk is full. Uh, you will have background pages, you know, like these. You will have these lovely background pages to use. I think they're all here, actually. Oh, I might have got lucky. I think they're all here that go with that. Let me move this. All right. So, you'll have, and then you'll also have five by seven pages to make a journal with that are already sized for you. And there are more of those. I just don't have those um, ready to go right now. So um, these are what you'll have to work with. And then you will have a ton, and I mean a ton, of the shabby pieces um, to work with as well. So let me see if I can find any. I think I pretty much cut up the whole darn kit. <sighs> I can show you some of them. Most of them are cut up, but there's a few I haven't cut. 
and I've also printed them in smaller sizes to use as well. So there is a wonderful word sheet I highly recommend using. These are just a few of the pages, so keep that in mind. There's more. Aren't these adorable? You've got to get this kit. It is, I think it's almost all here. I've cut some of it. Gosh, I hope, guys, I might have been too high. I'll, I'm going to check my, oh yeah, I might have been too high on some of those pages. I'll go back over them again. Look how stinking cute these are. Are they not adorable? Oh my gosh. So now that I've moved the page down a little bit, let me try this again so that you do see. There we go. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I've got the majority of these are pre-cut, already cut up. I did rerun these, some of these again. So some are cut and some aren't, but there's more. There's more, you guys. This isn't everything. This is just some of it. I will do a flip through for you of the whole kit before I run this video. That way you can see everything. There will be a link on my YouTube where that little V is. You hit that, you drop it down, there'll be a link to the club so that you can sign up and go get your kit. Okay, I think that's all of that. So we probably should get busy and do some decorating. Um, I haven't done any decorating. I haven't added any stickles or sparkles or really anything fun. So I, I think I, I kind of left all that fun stuff because it's a process video, I'm gonna to have to think my way through it, ladies. I am blank today. So let's see. I do know I wanna put these on, so maybe we can do that first. I think what I'll do is I'll put this little pocket on first. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention and accidentally cut off the little pocket flap, so this will be a flat pocket. I will only be able to put some cute tiny things in it. I won't be able to put anything very big in it, but that's okay, right? We're good with that. So I'm gonna to try to do a narrow and I have to lift it up to see what I'm doing. All righty, hope everyone's, you guys are all getting a little crafting in. I mean, I know not always when you're doing it with me, but hopefully you're getting some crafting in. You guys used to tell me you were crafting along with me, but I haven't heard that in a while. I guess everybody's really busy now that everybody's back to work. So I understand that. And then this one, I can go clear to the spine, but I think I'll just overlap this little pocket a little bit. And I'm just gonna glue the flaps. And of course I've grabbed it in the wrong place. That's typical, let's turn it around. I have been doing a lot of cutting and gluing and printing to get this kit ready. And then I finished up my last one. There will be a, I believe, a winter kit after this for Shabby Art Boutique that should go along nicely with this kit, I believe. That's what Carrie Ann, the designer, said uh, for Shabby Art Boutique. I'm loving this. This is so much fun. I, I really am. I may have to re-glue this over here. Let me make sure it's going to close okay. Yeah, I've got my finger in it, so <laughs> if it glues over my finger, I'm pretty sure we're okay have to hold this down a little bit. I might have to use some Fabri-Tec over here. There is a good chance I'm going to have to use Fabri-Tec over here. We'll see. I mean, this does work on fabric, but... Okay. I'll probably put some lace across the bottom. You know me. I probably should have actually pulled it up so I could do that. Ah, uh, yeah. I wondered about that. That ribbon's sort of resistant <clears throat> to glue, so... See if I can get a little bit of. I topped up this bottle when I started the project, but I think I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm going through the glue. Let me get that up there. It's cold this morning in here. It's been really cold in the house. We don't turn the heater on till November, so the other morning it was like 61 in the house, which is a little chilly. So I don't know that my glue likes it when it's that cold.
it's gotten used to these 90 degree days. So what I might do is I might, so we have like a plain one, a printed one, a, a plain one, a printed one, and I will decorate these up. I don't know if these gonna fit. Oh boy. Am I gonna have to overlap? Maybe not. I'm just kind of trying to decide where I want to put them. This is a process video, so we are in process, right? And then we could decorate these up because I have lots and lots of fussy cuts. Cute little fussy cuts everywhere. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll put this one on next. And I'm going to go ahead and use the... Um, fabric tack just because I know I have to have it on the fabric so we'll just use it all the way around yeah it's kind of thick this morning must be the cold my glue is very thick it doesn't want to come out I should have sat it on my desk in front of the window where the sunshine is because it's nice and warm over there I'll have to remember that I might have to move well the whole house is cold I was gonna say I might have to move my glues in to another room but you know what if the whole house is cold that really probably isn't going to work Oh, it's right there. I need to move it back just a little bit. It's the nice thing about the fabric tack is you can. I'm also going to move it up up at the bottom just a tiny bit too. So I do have some room for some lace. You know, this is going to have some lace and it's going to have snowflakes and all kinds of sparkly stuff. I stocked up on my um, stickles. I bought it in like, let's see, what did I buy for this project? Diamond, which I had to refill because I was out. Crystal. And stardust so we'll probably play with those with this kit to get a little bling in there probably not as much as my last Christmas um, video I won't have as much bling maybe I don't know we'll see depends on the mood I'm in when I'm decorating I guess I was in that bling mood from the last lace journal I did I was in lace and pearl mood this is gonna have some pearls but it's gonna have diamante I did find my red and some other colors, so we'll be able to do that. We'll move that up just a little bit. These are different heights, unfortunately. I will have to watch this. I just realized how dainty that's gonna be, but it's the way it was designed. Looks like it's gonna, I'm gonna hold this down for just a minute, use the warmth of my hands, since it's chilly chilly. It's only been in the low 60s and 70s the last few days, so that's cool for us here, where I live, anyway. All right. I've been wanting to do this, so I figured I would just do it with you guys on camera. We got pocket, 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 pocket. We got pockets, we got four pockets. One, two, three, oh, six, excuse me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right there. All right, let's go back to this. And I want to do some of my traditional decorating. So I've picked this lace out because it's nice and wide. I want kind of a wide lace band across here. And you know, I'm wishing I had put the band on before I put the, um, I forgot. Well, Looking for my fab oh, fabric scissors. I'm looking all around. Silly girl. All right. Let's get that. It's kind of a stretchy band. Now, I could make this a belly band. I could make it a pocket. But because I believe we have plenty of pockets and potential for more, I'm just going to glue it down. Now, the question is, do I want to ink it up or do anything to the lace? I am using Spun Sugar Distress Oxide for my inking, and I am using Distress Oxide Victorian Velvet. So those are going to be the colors I'm going to be using for this project because this is a little more um, purpley, reddy, and this is, of course, more bright pink. So that's what I think I'm going to be using. I may also be using, and this is really bright, so I'm, I'm, I don't know about this one. I thought I was going to use it, but now I'm not so sure, and this is worn lipstick. So that's a reserve if I need to brighten something up. So we have those three that we're going to be using on this project. 
So what I'm thinking is I may go ahead and give it a little bit of ink. Not a lot. I just want to pink it up a little. The oxide works very well on your fabrics if you choose to use them. <laughs> Had some comment, someone comment I was a little too happy on my videos. And I'm like, really? Well, wouldn't you rather have me happy than going, no, you know, being sad? So I don't know. Guess you can't make everybody happy. I am going to trim this end up. Because I had my lace upside. There is a right side and an upside down and a front and a back. Because I like it like that. I like it like that. There's a song, but I'm not going to sing it. Because it's morning and my throat is hoarse. <laughs> so I would just sound like Kermit the Frog or a bullfrog <laughs> singing. I did that this morning. It's not super early, but it's not lunchtime yet. As you heard me say, we're getting on there. Okay, I need a wet one there because I did just ink my fingers like there's no tomorrow. Okay, I like a little bit of the pink. It's, I know you can't really see it, but I don't think I can. Let me see, how close can I get? I don't know if you can see the pinkness, but there's a little bit of pink on here. So let me see where I'm at with you guys too. All right, I'm where I need to be. I'll just stay right there. That should work, right? Oh my gosh, I have kits all over the floor. <laughs> I just stepped on my kits. Yikes. All right, let's... I'm going to trim this off after, I think. I prefer to just have the long and then do it after. So, let me see. Where is this going to go? I want it kind of down through the middle. I'm kind of guessing, as you know, but we'll see. Kind of have a little idea of what I would like to do on the cover, but I'm not 100% there, so you may see me change my mind. Look. Um, yeah. I'm like, what do I want to use today? What tool am I using today? Am I using the card or the spatula? I call it the Maggie White spatula because she's the one who, I believe, came up with this idea to use a silicone spatula so you do not end up with the fabric tack and other glues all over your hands. The glues aren't particularly good for your skin, so I taught skincare at one point in my life for about 10 years, and we talked about chemicals on your skin and how bad it is for you. And, you know, we glue our hands and we paint them and we get all kinds of toxic chemicals on them, not realizing we're creating skin cancer for our hands. So we need to be careful. And some of these glues are now coming with warnings. In fact, this particular glue now has a warning on the bottle. Um, warning cancer and reproductive harm. So you have to be careful with your, your glues, ladies, especially if you're pregnant. So, and you're crafting. Keep it off your hands if you can. There's plenty of tools and fingers and things out there to keep, keep it off your hands. All right, let's be more careful. We, we don't think about this stuff. We think, oh, it's just glue. Well, it's not Elmer's glue, which was designed for kids. So we know that's safe. But after that, especially this stuff has some nasty stuff in it. Um, it works great, but... It does have some really nasty products in it, so you need to be careful with it. And I know a lot of us put this on our skin and glue on our hands, but I don't know if that's good for us. All right. Okay, enough of that commercial. Public service announcement is done for today on the Chandler channel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just want all of you to be safe. Okay. Now, I want to put a little cluster. So, I do have lots of goodies that I have cut out. I even took the papers from the kit and went to my die cut machine and cut myself some of this paper into some shapes to use because I thought those would be fun. Um, I'm pulling out. Oh, I, I have a tickle in my throat. 
excuse me, I was about to start coughing. <clears throat> Not something you want to listen to, right? No one wants to listen to me gag away or cough or anything. I'm just looking to see what else I have. I'm looking at all my little goodies. I also have things from last month and the month before in her papers. So you can mix in things that you already have um, from other kits and things. Others of her kits. But unfortunately, you can't get those kits anymore. And I need to be very clear about it. Um, if it's not in this kit, it's not available until she opens her vault, which is in February. So February and August. All right. I think I would like an ornament. So let's see. I'm going to get one of my little dishes out. Where are my dishes? Hello, where did you go, my little dishes? Excuse my elbows and other things. I like that they're in the bags for storage, but when I want to work with them, it's easier for me to have them in a little dish. I thought I had bigger ornaments. Are those the biggest they come? Well, we did just look at those pages, didn't we? Let me see if I can find, you know, those pages I just showed you. Let's see if there's ornaments in here or if, I, if these are the ones I cut up. To do, to do, to do, to do. Nope, I did cut them up. I think. Let me see what else I've got. I have kids everywhere. Oh my goodness, I am a disaster. Oh, there they go, onto the floor. Let me see. Oh, here we are. Oh no, I do have bigger ones. I thought I cut those out. Okay, your buddy's losing her mind again. I swore. Oh, those are last month's kids. Bling. All kinds of goodies. Well, what the heck? Apparently, I didn't do as much fussy cutting as I thought I did. Would one of these fit on there? They're awful big. Maybe that's why I didn't cut them. Okay, you guys, let's do a quick fussy cut and see. I like this one here. Oop, 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 oop. I may have to just go with that one, but I really wanted one big one to, to build around. And then we have the flowers too and the bigger stuff. <clears throat> so what you see here are the ones that I have sized down to something smaller. I'm looking for my, these scissors are too big. Oh, you guys, I have an itchy throat. It's driving me crazy. I guess it's got to be allergies. <clears throat> I use my inhaler, so I don't think it's my asthma. And I haven't been feeling well, so I did take a COVID test, and I don't have COVID, so that's good. So we are all good. Just not feeling great. Okay. But I love to craft, and I so here I am crafting. All right, let's see. Yeah, that gives me a little more to work with, I think. I mean, I love these. These are good size, but on this front, as this is my main cover, I do want something a bit bigger. I also might want a... What would I just do with that piece I was cutting out? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm losing my mind. I have a big star, too, and a bell. Do -do 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 -do. Let's get this cut out. I do have the smaller versions if these are too big. But sometimes I can't tell, you know, until I give it a good cut. I guess I better leave that on. I'm just going to do some more fussy cuts tonight. Uh, the big ones. I've got all the little stuff cut out, but I, I guess I was going to get to that and just didn't. I don't know. Or thought I did it or forgot to go back to it. I don't know. I use a lot of little things on my ephemera, so I automatically did cut little things. I forgot I have the cover front and back to do, so to decorate, and those will take the bigger pieces. And here we go here. 
All right. Oh, for those of you ladies who asked, um, the quilts from my show and share the other day come from Flossy May Designs on Etsy. And I found her through Instagram. So if you need, she doesn't always have quilted pieces. She only has them once in a while. So you just have to watch her, her page to see. Well, that's cute. All righty. Now, we'll ink those. We're going to want to sparkle them up a bit. The question is, do I want to add any of the foam tape to make them stand up and give us some dimension? The answer may be yes. Let me see what time we're at so I can decide. Well, we're only at 45 minutes, so I can go a little bit longer. I'm getting hungry though. I'm gonna have to go get some lunch and then I'll turn off the camera, turn it back on and film Monday. And we'll pick up where we left off in our decorating. More process video. I hear you guys like these. You're happy with the process video, so that's good. Since I don't do tutorials, that's as close as you're going to get. I do try to tell you things are just not exact and pre-cut and all that good stuff that people do when they're doing a um, doing one. All right, so let me grab my foam tape. Where did I put my foam tape? Do I have it? I put it in a little bag. Was going to put it on my desk, but probably I didn't. I bought some more when I went to Dollar Tree. I use their foam tape. <clears throat> you can order it online too if you don't have Dollar Tree. Amazon has tons and tons of stuff like that. So uh, I barely have any left. I mean, I have another package, of course, but okay. How is this glued on here? Oh, I don't have any left then because look at it's got. Well, that's useless. What are you gonna do with that? Huh. Well, that one's apparently done. Let me see if I have, I have to open another package. Here we go. You have uh, three different sizes in this Dollar Tree stuff. It's great. I need to actually get some wider, thicker foam tape, some bigger, I don't know what the millimeters are. And let's see, point 0.25 inches, five. So 0 0.25, 0 0.37, or 0 0.5 in inches for these. Um, Here we go, throw that package away, don't need that. I'm actually going to put some on the star. Oop, cat hair. No, that was my hair. Yeah, that's been falling out like crazy. My hairdresser says we do a human shed twice a year. I didn't know that. Well, I've had two hairdressers tell me that does happen and not to freak. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm buying that. Gosh, my hair's falling out. I think part of it's old age too for me, getting older. My hair used to grow, gosh, half an inch to two inches a month. And now I barely grow a quarter of an inch. Don't need my hair cut as often, which is good, especially during this pandemic thing. Okay, so I don't think I need to put any other lace behind it, so I think I'm almost safe putting this down. Oof, this stuff is mega sticky. Watch your fingers. For Dollar Tree, I'm pretty impressed, honestly. And if it doesn't stick, then I'll go back and glue it on with um, 
Let's see. All right. It probably won't, it might not stick to that fabric. If it doesn't, like I said, I'll, I'll glue it on with a fabric tack. So what do I have over here that's already open? What do I have? I guess I'll just... <laughs> ay, 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 it sticks to everything. Oh my goodness. I always have to clean my scissors when I'm done. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if this goes here, I want the bell to kind of stick out maybe right about there. What do we think? Yeah? Yeah. And then... Oh, where are we now? What else we need to do? I gotta get this one built up. What do we need to do? Let's use this bigger one. <laughs> Okie dokie. You know what? Wear a lot of hand lotion. It will help. <laughs> I do have quite a bit on, or I think I would never, I, I would be stuck to this stuff forever. Because this is built up, I'm going to have to put a double layer of this on there. So I'm going to pull off the... Ooh, I'm really going to have to clean those scissors. Alcohol wipes or... Or... Um, uh, wet ones work great on the stickies. Okay, now I'm building up a second layer to sit it higher than these. You can go all the way, as many layers as you need. Of course, you use a lot this way, but I'm a novice at this. This is not something that I've done a lot of. I've done some, but not to the extent I've been doing it lately. Oh, I... All right, now let's decide where this is gonna go. Okay, see our dimension? We're getting dimension. Now you could ink that before you put it down. I feel like this is needs a little more. All right, there we go. Okay, we've got our first layers on. So this allows me to add flowers or, um, oh, pearls, whatever, to build in and on and around and behind to add sparklies, to add, uh, like, okay, I'll show you. Um, gosh, you guys, I'm just getting in the groove and we're done. Like if I wanted to add some little silver balls to this, these little foam balls, I could add one. See, because it, it's sitting up higher, so now those aren't sitting up so high. Because this is not going in a journal, we can build up as high as we want out here. So we could add some of those. We can add pearls. Got some pearls here. Um... We can add some small flowers to build up our, um, our, so I can add, you know, a pearls there if I want. I can do flat back pearls. I can do these kinds. I can use multiple sizes. Don't know that I'm going to add the silver balls, though. We'll see. I may go back to those. I want something silver, but right now I don't know exactly what I want. So if I wanted to add these standing pearls, these work really well. Um, I can add, these flowers have a little dimension, but they're a bit big. These are from Claudia at Timeless Crochet for You. She gave these to me as a gift last year, but maybe if you send her a message and tell her you would like some shabby, pink or pink and blue or whatever color you want she if she can she will accommodate you so I could add I like this one wish I had another one like that oh I don't mind that there okay so we're getting there so you can see where we're going with this I feel like it's going to need 
something behind it. Um, I'm thinking some eyelash trim or something to give it some extra uh, sticky out things. Um, I may add in a, I wanted to add silver, so maybe I will add in a snowflake. I'm going to see if I have any smaller ones. I might have some. So that we can kind of build that out and, and build out our cover. So, all right, you guys, I think we're, we're probably about it for today. We've gotten a good start on this. You have a good idea of how to make yours and get it ready so you could sit down and do some, um, crafting with me if you want to make this project if you're into the shabby and you want or even if you aren't and you'd like to give it a try this is really a, a good project for you to start with very simple give you a fun folder actually be a great gift for someone you could put all kinds of um it would also store your christmas cards and your christmas card list really well you don't have to just use it for journal purposes you could use it as a gift. You could use it as fill it up with things and give it to someone. Like I said, it's great for your party planning because there's plenty of envelopes to stick things in and pockets. So really, this is a very fun project for you to give a try, and I hope you will do it. So it's a lot of fun. And again, we are working with the Shabby Art Boutique um, kit. And this is the Sweet and Shabby Christmas Handmade Club October 21 kit. It will be available as of October 15th. So I hope you all will go out and get it. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you all very soon. I love you bunches. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.